Hello, in this video we're going to have a look at the employee self-service portal and how we interact with scheduling. So how we have a look at our rostered shifts, how we can accept or decline shifts, and how we can set our unavailability so that the person doing the scheduling knows when we can and can't work. To start with, we'll have a look at when we're allocated shifts from our employer. When we're allocated shifts from our employer, we'll receive either an email or an SMS. Let's have a look at what the email looks like. Here's the new shifts I've been assigned. It says, hi employee, you've been assigned the following shifts to Test Street Pharmacy, and it lists out those shifts. Then it gives me the opportunity to review those shifts. If your employer hasn't set it up that you have the ability to accept or decline shifts, that review shifts won't be there as a link. Let's click the link and review our shifts. In this case, our employer set it that we can't accept or decline shifts within 24 hours of the starting time. So the first two shifts that we have here aren't available to be accepted or declined. It's just assumed that a shift's going to be accepted unless we click the decline button. Let's decline this shift on the 13th of February 2016. I can leave a note here. And click tick, or I can delete. And that shift's now been declined. Your employer will be notified by email that you've declined a shift and they can offer that shift to somebody else. If I don't decline a shift, it's going to treat that shift as if I'm going to work it. Let's take a look now at how we review our roster. From the employee dashboard screen, choose schedule from the menu items at the top. Here you'll see all of the accepted and declined shifts that we have. You'll notice here that there's nothing recorded here for the 13th. You can click on these items and bring up more details like breaks, start and end time, date, and the location we'll be working at for each shift. The shifts will also show up any leave that we have booked. We're going to cover off on how to request leave in a separate video, but for now, it's a way of displaying when your leave's coming up. The other function that we can perform from this calendar view is to create shifts where we won't be available maybe over a recurring series. Let's say in this case that we have a university class between 7 and 9 p.m. every Wednesday night. I click on a Wednesday, say Wednesday the 17th. I'll be unavailable. I can either go all day. I'm going to untick that on an ongoing basis every Wednesday. And let's say it starts between 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. And I can choose a time when that ends. In this case, I'm going to choose the 15th of June. Reason? University lecture. And click save. That'll display a red unavailability shift for each of these weeks and let the person that's performing the schedule know that you're not available to work on that particular occasion. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you're now comfortable on how to use our scheduling features.